Hello and welcome to our online devotional for Monday, March the 23rd, 2020. I'm here at the Parsonage uh, and wanted to show you this sign that we've had uh, here in our living room, which uh, predates the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, any of you who know Tracy will know uh, this is uh, law around our house. So I uh, thought I would share that. Also, uh, walking by this mirror here. Sometimes I pause here when I'm in a reflective mood. Um, but also wanted to show you this other sign that we have here in our house, which is one of the first things that we see when we come in the front door. This is by our coat closet. And this is just a good reminder um, always uh, to love more and worry less. And I think that that relates to our scripture passage for today, which comes from Paul's second letter to his uh, protege, um, Timothy, Second uh, Timothy chapter 1, verses 1 through 18. Uh, but I want to focus in particular on verse 7, uh, which is the verse that my heart and mind turned to when we were first having to send out a communication to our church family uh, about... Uh, the, the decision to suspend our worship services uh, for the coming weeks. And so I felt like I wanted to communicate what this verse uh, communicates to us, that we're not doing this out of, out of fear, um, but out of, of love and concern for one another. And so Paul writes here in, in 2 Timothy 1, verse 7, For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice or fear, but rather a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. And I hope that these words um, speak to you as our prayer focus today is on uh, the Holy Spirit to work more and more in our own lives. Um, wherever you find in your heart and in your mind a, a spirit of fear, which I think if we're all being honest, would, we would have to say there's, there's that fear in all of our hearts and minds. But what God's Spirit wants to give us is a spirit of power. Um, the word in Greek for this word is, is dynamis, which, from which we get the word dynamite. Um, so in these times when we can feel so powerless over this um, invisible enemy of this virus, that God gives us the power, uh, the power to do what we can do, um, to wash our hands, to distance ourselves physically from others, uh, but also just the power to be God's people in the midst of all of this. It gives us not just a spirit of power, but a spirit of love. And the Greek word here is agape, love, self-giving, uh, generous kind of love. And how might that spirit of love be um, activated and be shown among us in the midst of this time? And then the last thing of this trinity of gifts of the Spirit here is uh, self-discipline, self-control. Uh, the King James Version has of a sound mind. So there is lots of different ways, I think, to interpret this. But um, I think it all has to do with um, an opportunity for us to, to be sensible in our thinking and in what we do and in the decisions that we make as individuals and as families and as a church congregation. And so I hope that you'll lay claim to these gifts um, in this sort of atmosphere of fear um, that we might draw on the Spirit's gifts of, of power among us, of love among us, and of, of self-control, self-discipline, of a sound mind. And so I hope uh, that this is an encouraging word for you, and I hope that you might share this with your social media networks uh, so that it might be an encouraging word for others as well. God bless.